Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my videos. I have another unboxing for you. Today it's the HSP 1.8 scale short course truck, uh, model number 94763. Uh, the body, they call it a La Serra. Um, so this came in pretty good condition. The bottom of the box is uh, broken, um, but we'll see how it looks inside. Uh, but the top of the box looks pretty solid, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing right up and Give you a shot of what this is um, And actually right there uh, So I did pick up the black and red version of this guy right here um, you a good shot and there you can see the body name Lacera um, rally racing very cool this came with a plastic cover on top that's something I only see on a Traxxas or uh, very rarely on one of these cheaper RC's um, but let's take a look what we get inside so the manual um, I'm assuming that's the uh, transmitter number MT305. If that's the one I recall, that's also what came on the uh, HSP touring car, the Flying Fish. So nothing else. Oh, and uh, we do have a antenna tube to keep it extended. So I'm assuming, yeah, it might be the MT305 transmitter. So let's open this up. Fair enough. Uh, MT305 transmitter. I don't know about the range of these, but they're pretty decent. They take four AA batteries, um, which I prefer over the eight AA that the Fly Sky GT2 comes with, which is common for a lot of these uh, cheaper RCs uh, between VRX and HSP at least. Um, but I've been using this, like, like I mentioned, on the 110 scale touring car, and uh, it's been pretty easy, pretty solid to use, very basic uh, adjustments, steering trim, throttle trim, um, so yeah, I have no issues with this, I've got a nice foam uh, um, steering wheel grip, and then now to the good stuff. Go ahead and pull this out. You can see the big old gash on the bottom of the box. Um, but it doesn't seem to affect anything at the moment because there was a nice protective cardboard on the bottom of this. Well, um, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to go ahead and clip these. I actually have a set of cutters with me this time. So there's a good shot of the truck. And um, it's looking pretty awesome. I'm very happy about this cover. Um, packaging means a lot to me and it's rare that you get something nicely packaged from overseas. Uh, well, let me take off the body clips. Nice cover and this body looks like it's in perfect condition let me prop that up so you can get a good look very nice so super clean I like the HSP bodies um, because they're very oh man so bummer I do got a I do have a cracked body right here on the rear post so that kind of sucks but I'll tape it and I uh, use it as long as uh, it'll last for. So, yeah, bummer. Because I do, like I was mentioning, I do really like the HSP bodies. Um, I'm assuming it must have been upside down because you can see that grease that collected right here. Um, but anyways, that's logistics. Um, now to the good stuff is the inside of this. Um, so I picked this up. Uh, from Banggood while it was still available. I know there's this major shipping delay on these now um, But 
The great thing about this being a 1 8 scale, it does have the 17 millimeter um, hex uh, wheel locks. This is, they list it as a CXP.21 engine, but very cool. It says H, uh, SH engine, uh, which it did in the pictures. Um, this is very nice because you can see it's got a nice solid looking uh, metal spur gear. And there's the uh, clutch bell and pinion. Um, one thing I really like about the HSPs is that they do have these handles. Um, for some reason, they make a difference just, you know, picking up maybe a hot engine or figuring out a place to push down on while you're trying to pull start these things. Um, that's something that the VRX does not have. Um, but this thing is looking pretty great. Um, this has the... Um, I guess the higher line or the better air filter which is supposed to collect moisture or allow moisture to come out of the sponge um, you'll see a similar one on my VRX RH801 and then of course you'll see the uh, metal tune pipe in the back which is awesome um, and let's take a look at the bottom there you go so this is a single speed. Uh, most, if not all, of the HSP uh, 110 series uh, seem to come in a two speed. Um, and I have not found anything. Um, I have not found out if they do make a two speed option for the HSP 18 series. Um, and they do cover up the uh, spur gear, which you do see on the uh, other models. But going back to this, this is the uh, your receiver box. Um, I mentioned in my RH801, I'm a huge fan when they put body clips instead of screws. That way it's easier to access, um, to access what you need. But here is the battery pack. It's uh, kind of greasy in there. So, yeah, there's a bunch of grease in here. that took forever to pull out but four double A's for the receiver pack um, JST connector I do have um, battery packs coming on the way for these uh, so I don't have to use the double A's um, these receivers uh, do have a built-in fail safe which is awesome especially for a nitro um, so that is something great um, kind of cool they seem to have put a second compartment door for the receiver um, and then a separate one for the uh, battery pack even though you can see that they're uh, connected or the compartments combined inside but I do like that they're separate just because uh, you kind of have an area to stick one versus the other um, e you could your typical uh, brake front brake rear brake and then here are the rods to adjust um, brake rods right here this does look much nicer than the 110 series from HSP this looks more in line with the VRX setup um, and then here's your throttle there's your low speed needle adjuster and then we'll go through and look uh, that is your idle screw right there and then of course your high speed needle right here. Um, so aside from that, I think that's much basically what there is to cover. Pull start instructions. So um, the HSPs do include these warning tabs telling you not to uh, pull these pull starts out too far. They say 40 centimeters. I think that's around 10 inches or so. Um, I'm getting used to it and having the um, tendency or learning that you really don't have to pull these too hard or too far. So this is actually a great, um, uh, great warning label because um, that is, I think that is one of the most common breaks um, on these is a pull starter. Um, but aside from this, uh, oil filled shocks, plastic shock bodies. Um, I don't have any concerns with them because I haven't broken any plastic shocks yet. Um, 
but if needed I'll look for a nice set of metal ones but this is pretty cool I'm a big fan of the short course trucks um, and rally cars as you mentioned um, put the body back on it so you can take a look and it's looking pretty cool I'm, I'm liking this uh, I am bummed because of the broken body right here but I know Banggood's not going to do anything about it, so whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, definitely check out Hybrid32494 for his unboxing, and he actually does a setup on this specific RC, uh, which is pretty awesome, very thorough. And he actually uh, gets it started in like one pull, which is awesome, amazing. Um, I have not had that that luck or fortune yet but again i'm a nitro newbie and uh, still trying to figure things out um but another cool thing i wanted to share that i noticed on the box because i am a sucker for rally cars i saw that they have this thing right here so i am gonna get online looking for this hsp tyrant which looks to be a 1.8 uh, 1 8 series touring slash rally car because this does look like the WRX STI body and that looks pretty cool if I can get my hands on one of these so I'm, I'll be looking around but again thanks for watching